voluntary medical male circumcision reduces female to male but not male to female HIV transmission by an absolute risk of less than 2% over a two-year period. So how do you increase the rate of voluntary medical male circumcision? Number one, use a relative risk, which is less informative. Number two, do not specify the applicable direction of transmission. Number three, omit the time frame. Number four, add marginal extras. Number five, appeal to ego. And then you have voluntary medical male circumcision reduces HIV transmission by 60% and cervical cancer. Circumcise and conquer. Comparing relative versus absolute risk using an example of oral contraceptive pills. Women who do not use these pills have a risk of 1 in 7,000 of developing life-threatening clots. And women who use the pill have a risk of 2 in 7,000 of developing life-threatening clots. If this is reported as a relative risk, it is a doubling of the risk or a 100% increase in the risk of developing life-threatening clots. However, when this is on an absolute scale, using oral contraceptive pills increases the risk of developing life-threatening clots by 0.014%, which is a very tiny increase.